when you feel so bad you just want to die you feel empty almost like you're floating your emotions are shut down to handle the situation but you can't go on like this you just you you cannot ignore the fucking pain and then it hit you hit you hard i hope that lightning strike me down just you yell out to this guy come on fucker kill me seriously it, it, you just I hope that when I walk down the street, somebody would just bump into some go, crazy uh, guy. Just, just warmer, you know? anyone I could dare enough as much money. to fuck with. Yeah, come on, you bastard. I know, you and then dead. they would take you out his gun them? or his knife and kill me. You think all of them? I want money. Streets. I don't think so, though. Nothing like this happened. I even crossed the streets with my eyes closed, hoping a car would hit me. But nothing. Nothing. I prayed that when I went to sleep again, I wouldn't wake up. But of course, I did. If you want to take your life, you shoot yourself like Kurt Cobain did, through the head. But I don't got the balls to do that, so nothing happened. And after a while, days, weeks passed before I stopped feeling sorry for myself. Probably never have this future I dreamed of when I was younger. They fucked it up. Or I fucked it up. But I found that out. The American dream is no longer for America. When you feel so bad, you just want to die. You feel empty, almost like you're floating. Your emotions are shut down to handle the situation. But you can't go on like this. You just, you, you cannot ignore the fucking pain. And then it hit you, hit you hard. I hope that lightning strike me down. Just, you yell out to this guy, come on, fucker, kill me. Seriously, it, it, you just, I hope that when I walk down the street, somebody would just bump into me. Some crazy guy, just, just anyone I could dare enough to, to fuck with me. Come on, you bastard. And then they would take out his gun or his knife and kill me, but I wandered the streets. Nothing like this happened. I even crossed the streets with my eyes closed, hoping a car would hit me, but nothing. Nothing. I prayed that when I went to sleep again, I wouldn't wake up. But of course, I did. If you want to take your life, you shoot yourself, like Kurt Cobain did, through the head. But I don't got the balls to do that, so nothing happened. And after a while, days, weeks passed. Before I stopped feeling sorry for myself. Probably never have this future I dreamed of when I was younger. They fucked it up. Or I fucked it up. But I found that out. The American dream is no longer for Americans. And summer's coming. But I don't like the summer. I like fall. When the leaves fall down and the days get shorter. But still the sunshine comes through. Shines on your face. It's like the last days of your life. Just before you die. And finally you realize how beautiful life can be. Spring is ending now, and summer's coming. But I don't like the summer. I like the fall when the little f oh, fuck you, cocksucker. But I don't like the summer. I like the fall when leaves fall down and the days get shorter. But still, the sunshine comes through and shines on your face. It's like the last days of your life, just before you die. And finally, you realize how beautiful life could be. Spring is ending. The summer's coming. But I don't like the summer. I like the fall. When leaves fall down, the days get shorter. But still, the sunshine comes through and shines on your face. It's like the last days of your life, just before you die. And finally, you realize how beautiful life could be.
I just dropped out of college. There was no point to pay for it, especially when my professors couldn't speak English to teach me. Then my girlfriend left me. She went to college, she moved away. She was going places, so she said. But that was some time ago, and I'm still here.
I live here anymore now. No, he does. He's back. Zombie now. I he's what? Like, he's a zombie. zombie, yeah. Really? He's well, actually back in school. I mean, he's been one of right? Yeah, dude. For the first five, he six walked. years, he was really? probably just walking around on the difficult days. He's back in school now. It looks like he's becoming a person again, but... Wow. But for the last five years, he's known me all my life. He's called me John's name. I won't. I won't. Fuck well, you need to reconnect, you know? No. Steve used to talk about his uncle, uh, Bobby, how he didn't like Bobby because Bobby was a dope guy. He went from popping Oxycontin pills to snorting Oxycontin pills to snorting heroin, smoking heroin. Uh, it's bad. I haven't talked to Steve what? since uh, the summer after you left. I stopped talking to him because uh, I found out he's the guy that got Troy arrested. I haven't talked to Troy since three weeks after I started, after I found out about Steve. Everybody found out, and then all of a sudden, Troy don't want to talk to nobody. You know what I mean? If I can't trust one, I can't trust all. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's moved to either Oregon, Colorado, or Cali. He was in Cali last time I heard, but Phil or uh, Jerry said it's not good enough there. He didn't want to have payback with uh, against uh, No, nah, he's a fucking calm soul, man. Troy is like, uh, he don't live like that, you know? Like, he's probably more hurt about the situation than anything. He was friends with Steve's mom and shit. It's 48 inches mom. They shared a studio together. Like, you know, he was part of the family. Yeah. It's never been proven, I'm sure. Uh, but there was a website around here that used to name him, and he was on it. Yeah, it's people that always walk in the alley. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, uh, supposedly he's living in Florida now. His grandfather died. And uh, his grandmother had a stroke. He Steve down there with the uncle. So the uncle can help him. Yeah. But, you know, uh, he never likes to talk about his fucking problems. Well, he knew he had a problem, but he never wanted to talk about oh, yeah, it. So yeah, you got to pack that shit away, and eventually it's going to eat you up, man. If you can't face yourself with a mirror of drugs like that, they're going to eat you up. And then you just become the jumpers, man. Yeah, he definitely has a problem. No, I mean, the story. I'm sorry. Let me fucking try books. Yeah, he was a good kid, though. He had a nice heart. He just. You say if Uncle Bob's so happy, you can't vocalize. Maybe not at the thing that you're mad at, because you can't always be uh, mad at the same people, yeah, but yeah. you let it out at some time. Yeah. At least fucking recognize it inside yourself. Like, you can't you can't draw those lines, you're going to have a fucking bad time. It's yeah. not going to go good for you. That's it. He's a good kid, though. I'm sorry it happened that way. But, like father, like son, you know what I mean? Like, they don't, they don't, deal with the problems or the issues that they have, they just close the door on it and it'll go away. Yeah, it doesn't work. No, no. no. But I, you know. Yeah, it's thankfully no. But I fucking surely didn't. I just used to pack cocaine on top of the problem. Fucking numb it up. Who gives a shit, man? Hey, was how, how young are you now? Uh, 33, man. 34 in June. Jesus age, right? Yeah. I've come back to be hung on the cross now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, what the fuck are you gonna do? Walk around pissed off all your own life, you, you miss half a life, and you end up a smudge. Literally no impact on the world.